So today we have Emerald Ferguson from Meharry Medical College School of Dentistry. Emerald, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Awesome, awesome. So if you can, uh, please give us a brief summary of your dental school journey. So where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what you major in, and did you take a year off? So I'm originally from Nassau, Bahamas. You probably can't tell because I don't have that much of an accent anymore. Um, I moved to Florida. I stayed there for a little while until I graduated from high school. And then I moved to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. I went to Georgia State University. I graduated from there in uh, May of 2018. And then I actually started here at Meharry June of 2018. Um, so I didn't take a gap year. I had about three weeks okay. in between. So that was interesting. And then my major, I was biological sciences. Okay, awesome, awesome. And so um, for you to go, you know, straight from undergrad, I know that your DHC had to have been pretty good, you know? So um, what are like <laughs> some, some tips or some advice that you would give to students who are, you know, preparing for the DAT? If you have any like, resources that you use or any methods yeah like what would you advise to them for like the entire dental school experience or like oh, no, just specifically the uh, the DAT okay um so for me I for the DAT I basically use DAT boot camp okay. and then I also use DAT destroyer yeah. um, if I if I can go back and give myself some advice or advice to other students, I would tell them to basically do as many questions as they possibly can. For me, I felt like when I was studying, I tried to memorize everything and that's just, it's hard and it's impossible. Like you can't do that. Your brain literally can't handle all that information. So if I can go back, I would say do as many questions because the questions are going to tell you okay, I understand this material, I don't need to focus on this that much, or I know nothing about this, so that when it comes up on the exam, no, okay, I, um, so that's like one of the best pieces of advice I can give to them. Also, that kind of spills over into dental school when you're taking your different exams and your part one, part two of boards, which I haven't taken part two, but part one, I know that was really helpful for me. Um, so that's some advice that we give to free dental students. Awesome, awesome. And so did you always know that you wanted to go to Meharry? Like, what made you decide on Meharry? knew that I went to dental school. It was either between Meharry and Howard. Um, I was fortunate to get interviews to both, but I went to, when I came to Meharry, I like stepped on the campus and I was like, no, this is where I want to go. It really is like a home family atmosphere. And for me, I'm actually one of the youngest um, in my class. So I also had a lot of growing up to still do while in dental school. So I knew that I needed that atmosphere to really just grow as an individual and also grow as a student. Um, so that's definitely why I chose to be at Meharry. Awesome. And so does Meharry have any like uh, pre-dental programs, uh, you know, for any pre-dents, you know, looking to show interest or just showing or trying to be around the school to kind of have their face seen or like to increase their chance of getting in? Like, are there any type of pre-dental programs like that? So I know as dental students, we know about like SMDA and ASDA. Yeah, right. So for Meharry, a really big part of um, that would be like Impressions Day. I don't know how you guys do it at your school, but mm -hmm. for Meharry, we do a lot of different like activities with um, pre-dental students um, through ASDA and SMBA. They kind of merge together for a lot of events. So we have like our mentor mentee type of program. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that I think is really beneficial for students that are looking into dental school. I know since I've been here only for two years, I've been able to connect with a lot of different dental, pre-dental students, um, and they kind of will stick with me until I like matriculate out. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Other than that, we do a lot of community events where not just like dental students can be a part of it, anybody outside that's interested. And I think for Meharry, it's really important so that professors and different um, admissions committee, they see your face right. and they recognize you. So that's one way I would say to kind of like, I don't know, get recognized. If that that right. Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. And so um, to the DAT, you did well. How was your interview? Like, can you kind of walk us through your interview day? Yes, yeah, so um, it seems like forever ago, but it was basically, we start, I think at eight or nine in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, 
they walk us through the dental school, show us the different um, areas of the dental school, like the sim lab, the D1 lab, the D2 lab. Um, then uh, that takes a while because they walk us not only around the I also saw like the meds. Um, and then we have lunch and during lunch, we're able to talk to the dental students and ask some questions that you know you necessarily wouldn't ask an admissions committee, yeah. like get down the real questions of how yeah. dental school is, right. which was helped to, and you get to see the different backgrounds that people come from, which is really important. Um, the last thing that we are, who are the interviews, people, whether it's professors or just anybody that works in the dental school in that aspect. Um, and it was very personable. Like I, I was really nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I was very nervous for my right. interview. Um, but the minute I sat down and we started to talk, I was like, okay, well, you know, I can be very honest about everything. I didn't have to hold back anything. And I think as a pre-dental student, sometimes we're so wrapped around that we have to be like this perfect image. Um, but our school already knew all the stats about us. They knew our GPA, they knew our DAT score, they knew all the extracurricular activities that we did. They just wanted to know who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, at my interview, I was really able to open up because I felt comfortable. And I think that's really, really important. No, that's awesome. Yeah, that's huge. I mean, so you're able yeah. to show who you really are, you know? So, right. so that's awesome. Okay, but obviously you got in, right? <laughs> you got that's in, the interview went well. Um, how was your first year? Like, was it uh, <laughs> primarily classes? Was it, you know, was there some clinic in there? Like, how was your whole first year? So our first year is mainly didactic courses. So okay. we're taking biochem, we're taking anatomy and physiology, we're taking microbiology, like just your basic science classes. Mm -hmm. And the way that our classes are set up, um, we have like a block. Them for exams, five basically. And we would have a class from eight to 10, 10 to 12. And then some days like we'll have dental anatomy and occlusion from one to five, which were very long days. <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> it's basically set up like that. Um, we did take preclinical operative, but that was in the spring of my first year. So um, that was pretty much all the like preclinical courses that we took. This year is a little different because we're basically mixing, you know, lab classes with also didactic classes, getting ready to go into clinics. Um, but besides that, first year was it was tough. It was a it was a learning curve. Um, but I definitely don't want to do it again. <laughs> right, 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 right. No, I mean it's good times, but it's right. not something that you want to revisit, right? Right, right. And, and so, are you able to go and uh, assist? Like um, to, or? So we have we have a clinic it's called a salt wagon clinic and they offer like um just different services um so as a d1 you can go in and assist but that's pretty much all of the assisting that you can do as a d1 okay. um you possibly can shadow different dental students but um there's not a lot that you can do just because you haven't really had those classes and those courses to teach right. you a lot yet. Um, but there's definitely opportunities to do that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And so I was going to ask you, you know, I ask every different dental school this, yeah. what's unique about Meharry? You know, like what's one thing that, you know, you can say that Meharry has that, you know, you, you're pretty sure that other schools don't. <laughs> that makes sense. That's a, that's a tough question. Um, really, I mean, I I would say, A, it's a, one of the two only HBCUs mm -hmm. dental schools in the U.S. Um, so that in itself is an experience for me. That's not something that I was really used to. So um, just having that experience and being able to take that and also the legacy that Meharry has is something really important to me. But I know you probably hear this every year from different Meharry students, but we really are a family here. Like you can run into a D4, a D3. And I think as a D1, sometimes that's very intimidating because you're like, oh, they know so much more than me. They've been here so much longer, but they really are there to be like a helping hand. 
um, which I think is really important in dental school because you can only learn so much in a classroom, but you can learn so much from getting different advice from people. So I would say the like family aspect of Meharry really sets it apart from other dental schools. Plus our class sizes are actually really, really small. So we're really in an intimate setting with all your classmates. So you kind of grow to love all of them, you yeah, know? Yeah. You really become a family. How, how big is your class? Uh, we have 63 people in our class. Okay, I didn't know it was that small, okay. Yeah, yeah that it's is. really small. <laughs> That's small, but okay, okay. And so um, last question, if you were to go back in time and, and talk to yourself why are you were going through the application cycle, you know, like what's another piece of advice that you would give yourself uh, with regards to, you know, make sure you have X, whatever this is on your application, uh, whether it be, oh, you should go do this program, like what type of advice would you give yourself? For me, I, I would give myself a lot of different advice. So A would be, I just, <laughs> I just shadowed um, a period on it. So I would say really go out and expand your different areas in dentistry because now I'm kind of like sitting down as a D2 and I'm like, okay, well, do I just want to, do I want to specialize? Do I just want to do general dentistry? So just exposing yourself to as much as you possibly can is really, really important. Um, I would take my DAT earlier because I actually took my DAT my senior year, probably in like August or October. So I took it fairly late. So at that time, I was really stressing out um, and also trying to graduate on time. And then my last, my last piece of advice would be um, to just take every day as a learning experience and know that, you know, dental school is not a marathon. It's it's a marathon, not a race, um, and just learn from all the failures that you do have so that you can just every day perfect your um, craft and just become a better dentist. Amazing, amazing. Emerald, thank you so much for your time. Um, I know we have a lot more time now because of this corona situation, but <laughs> you know, we, we definitely do appreciate it. Uh, we know it's very valuable. Uh, if our, any of our viewers kind of like want to ask you questions about Meharry, like what's the best way for them to get in contact with you? They can um, message me on my Instagram. It's Emerald Brooke and then with an underscore. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And I'll of course put that link or put your, uh, your Instagram name in the description below. But um, once again, from our community, the future DDS community, we want to say thank you so much. Um, we really do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Everybody, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button below. Also, if you have any questions for us here at Future DDS, make sure you shoot us a DM on Instagram at underscore Future DDS, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. But until next time, see y'all later.